administration is expected to have a big impact here in Chicago. Mayor Lori Lightfoot joins us live now to talk about this uh, transition and get your thoughts on what a Biden administration means for Chicago. Thanks for being with us. It's my pleasure. Well, first and foremost, I guess we won't be the uh, subject of presidential Twitter tirades about Chicago, which I'm sure is a relief to you. But from a practical perspective, we've got serious financial problems. What kind of lifeline do you expect uh, from the new administration? Well, I feel, um, first of all, that it's a breath of fresh air uh, to welcome in this new administration. Um, I woke up this morning with a, a smile on my face and inauguration day. There's a lot of hard work ahead of us, but it'll make an enormous difference uh, to Chicago and our residents to have someone in the White House who understands the importance of cities and in particularly the importance of uh, Chicago on the national landscape. Um, our um, conversations with uh, the Biden team have been nothing but uh, productive, so I'm excited about the possibilities. You saw that he unveiled a uh, $1.9 trillion uh, stimulus package, which included uh, money for state and local uh, governments, which was not in the stimulus package that was passed in December. There's a lot of support for transportation, for schools, for health care, and obviously uh, to augment um, our efforts to fight the coronavirus. So I feel very optimistic uh, that an important uh, page has been turned and that we're going to be moving forward in a very different and more positive direction. And Mayor, he had a message, the president had a message of unity, and I'm wondering after everything that has happened in the last four years, everything that we've seen, talk about the difficulties in building some of that unity. What role can you play in building some of that? Well, look, I think it's absolutely essential, and it's really incumbent upon all of us. Um, somebody said to me uh, earlier today, and they were exactly right, um, the president and the vice president are, are public servants, not our saviors. And I think that's right. Each of us has to ask the question, what more can we do uh, to bring civility back uh, to public discourse? What more can we do to step up and, and help our neighbors? And yes, of course, we need help from the federal government, but we also need to make sure that we're taking care of our business uh, right here at home. Um, I am so proud of the many, many Chicagoans from every corner of our city who stepped up over this most difficult past year. That uh, work is not done. Um, there's still um, things that we need to do to accomplish to keep our fellow residents and our neighbors uh, safe from harm, from uh, the COVID-19, from violence, uh, and to make sure that uh, people's needs are met, um, whether it's access to health care, whether it's food, whether it's housing. There's a lot that needs to be done but I am encouraged every day uh, by really the true champions um, that walk amongst us uh, as everyday Chicagoans who have stepped up in tremendous ways. And, and Mayor, speaking of COVID, I, Illinois received about 1.4 million doses, but only about 40% of those at last word had been actually administered. Uh, do you view that as, as, as a failure of, of local and, and, and state officials, or is there something that the federal government and the new Biden administration could be doing differently to get more shots in people's arms? Well, let, let's make sure that we've got the, the numbers right. We are pushing out and distributing uh, at, a, at a rate of 95%. And we are working with a range of different partners uh, from the hospitals to community-based organizations um, to federally qualified healthcare centers to make sure that we're getting that vaccine into people's arms. The biggest challenge that we face right now is really not having enough vaccine. Now, we, uh, the 40% I think you're referring to uh, is 40% of those doses are going to non-Chicagoans, which is fine, but really we've got the infrastructure built, we've got the healthcare community that is really united, but we need more folks, first doses uh, that are coming in every single week. And I was disappointed, not surprised, but disappointed to learn over the weekend that the federal government actually left the cover bare when it comes to a stockpile on the vaccine. So it's really important that the Biden administration really step up, um, work with the manufacturers and the pharmaceutical companies. We've got to get more vaccine out there. Even though there's vaccine hesitancy in some quarters, there's a growing enthusiasm and I think interest in getting the vaccine. As we move into 1B and we look to uh, vaccinate 
uh, people that are 65 or older, people with underlying medical conditions. We can't create an expectation that we can't fill because we don't have enough vaccine. So that's critically important. All right, long road ahead, a lot of work to do. Thank you so much, Mayor Lightfoot, for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.